Welcome back into the Enrichment Sports Source. Every week, Will Overstreet, former Vol and NFL defensive end, takes a look uh, at uh, a little advanced football, trying to take you inside the game. This week, you saw it with Missouri. You're going to see it again with an even faster offense with Auburn this coming week. He looks at what makes it so difficult to go up against a hurry-up offense like Gus Malzahn's and Auburn's Will Overstreet. Thanks, John. So one of the things we want to talk about today is when you're going up against a team like Auburn who's running up this hurry-up offense, no-huddle offenses, what does that do to the defense, and then what can a defense do to counter that? And so there are a couple of things. The first thing is just being in shape and having your endurance. The great thing about this for Tennessee is their offense that they're practicing against every day is also a fast-paced offense. But more importantly, really what this, this design of this offense is all about is to make your guys tired and then make them think. And by those guys coming out there very quickly, they're not making the right call, they forget a call. Somebody makes that one mistake that opens up a big play. The next thing is with this is mismatches. Running in guys, the offense have the advantage and the ability to send in guys much faster. Defensive coaches have to look, who are they sending in transition that personnel so they're always at a disadvantage. So personnel changes with a hurry up offense can also really affect the defense because you're not getting into personnel that matches up with who you would ideally like to be out there on the field at the same time. There are a couple of things though that defenses are going to do to help with that. One is the wristband. So when we talk about this is every player on the field has a wristband on with the plays with a call number that they can hold up on the sidelines. What this does is keeps your defense from having to go back into a huddle and everybody make the call. Basically, every guy's gonna have to know on that team, if they get in that situation, they've gotta know how to make their own call and do their own play. The next thing is a go-to call. This happens not only with hurry-up kinds of offenses, but when a team does a lot of motion, they're basically just trying to get your guys to make mistakes mentally. So what you do is, as a defensive coordinator, you want guys reacting. You want them playing ball. You don't want them thinking too much. So the biggest thing you can do is come in and say, guys, if they keep doing this, we're going to just have a base call. And we're going to say, we haven't gotten to play in long enough. Middle linebacker, you make the call, and everybody go play it. It may not be perfect, but it's all about football. Somebody's got to make a play. So, John, hopefully this defense can match up, do a couple of these things. It's going to be good that they've had this offense that they've been practicing up against all year long but it still is a really requirement and challenge to really match up mentally and get the right guys. So back to you guys. Thanks to Will Overstreet. Uh, guys, uh, Tennessee has not performed well on the road this year. I don't think there's any, any secret about that. They've also played some pretty darn tough teams on the road. This week mm -hmm. they're coming home against an Auburn team that will be the fifth top 10 team Tennessee will have played this mm -hmm. year, which is unreal. Uh, do you think being at home will give Tennessee an opportunity to be better against Auburn than they were on the road against Missouri. I'll start with you guys. Because they're home, do you think they'll play better against Auburn than they did on the road against Missouri? This team seems to play better at home. They, they seem mm -hmm. to feed off the crowd a little bit. You look at the Georgia and South Carolina games, and, and they, they play better at home, so I would think so. Now, that, that's, that's, a, that's an issue, though, that they've got to correct, is you've got to yeah. go on the road and, and maintain that same level of play if you want to compete for championships. Um, I, I always like the road better. And the reason being is because there's, there's less chaos. You don't, I mean, you, you're not getting any tickets for anybody. You don't have to remember, hey, I got to eat dinner with anybody after yeah. the game. I always like the, I always like the road better. Um, you know, Tennessee's coming down what I call right here is called Thunder Road, and it's tough, and um, they just got to grow up. I'm going to say I, I'm going to agree with David. I think I think the crowd helps Tennessee's players a little bit. I mean, they've looked like a different team, even though they were playing very very good teams. You did look different against Alabama and Missouri than you did against South Carolina and Georgia. Clearly they're faster at home, right? That's right, <laughs> much faster. <laughs> Marlon Lane said they don't lose at home anymore. Oh. Tiny Richardson said they're going to beat Missouri and Missouri, yeah. too. Uh, did I Lane think, say that yesterday? Yeah. Uh, but I, Butch I Jones, tell your guys to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> just, just hush your guys. But he didn't tweet it. Uh, I, I do think that uh, Tennessee would play much better against Auburn at home. Whether or not they're going to be fast enough to deal with that zone read and all the things that Auburn does, I don't know. I do think Tennessee's going to have a chance to win this game. They didn't have a chance to win those other four on the road. I think they'll have a chance to beat Auburn. Am I the only one that thinks that's ridiculous? This Tennessee team that's got its butt kicked so many times this year, having anybody on that roster open their mouth in <laughs> any positive way, am I the only one that thinks that is incredibly off base? No. 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 
Thank you. <laughs> we'll be back on the Richmond Sports Source. <laughs>